All right, friends. So um, when I was teasing what platform I would go to to stream next, I had a very cryptic video that was posted in pieces on various socials. And then eventually the 90 second video, which showed this, this spooky journey, right? And there were lots of comments on that. And by the way, thank you everyone for being so interested in it. It was super cool to see. Um, but there were a lot of comments guessing what some of the things along this villager's journey were referencing. So in this video, I'm going to go through every single one. Uh, but that's going to take some time. So just beware. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to play the whole video. And then we're going to start at the start. We're going to pause it a lot. And I'm going to have people guess what they think is being referenced at various points. Got it. Let's play it. Okay, so live stream chat was guessing a lot of things. You guys got a lot of the basic ones. We're going to have to pause every five seconds in this video. There's a lot. Okay, so like I said, this might be quite a long breakdown. So before we start, this was made by Ugly, who may be in chat, makes all the thumbnails, helps with the emotes and whatnot, and then Hardy assisted as well. So that's my team, all right? A lot of the kick-ass stuff that we have going is because of those two. So appreciation there, okay? I asked for, I was like, I think Villager looking at different transports would be cool. Like maybe something signifying the journey would be cool. I didn't give a lot of detail. And then I saw this scenario and I was like, what? So I don't know how much time was spent on it, but a lot, okay? So I hope you guys appreciate that. All right, so let's start it off. Okay. <clears throat> um, guesses with this particular guesses with this particular um area. Go. Okay. Force nothing. Okay. Absolutely. Force nothing was a big reason that my channel um started to do well at the start. Um, it it's also Red Villagers, so I was on YouTube, right, and uploaded Force Nothing, and it started the growth of my channel initially. That's the obvious one. The The other one I mentioned was the Red Villager. I'm not muted, guys. I didn't press a mute button. Stop it. So YouTube, Force Nothing, got it. Um, other subtle detail added was chopping out a forest equals viral video breaking out and being noticed. So that was me breaking out of my tiny little low viewership shell and expanding into the world. Um, and then I'm not, okay. Other, I'm trying to see if there's other guesses here. Oh, baby. Okay. So someone said Twitch for the purple transport. So then started streaming. The timing is a little bit different. I was streaming when force nothing happened, but you get the picture. And whose wonder is down here at the bottom, right? The Huns, baby. Everyone played Hun Wars back then. People didn't play random Civ. It was Huns, 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 baby. So that is referencing the time period of which we were. Actually, the Force Nothing only game was just Huns too. So I don't actually know. 
So she said Hun Wars plus favorite Civ. Well, true, but also it was Huns only in the Force Nothing video. So yes. Uh, anyways, we move along. Pause. All right. <clears throat> um, so I've started streaming because I'm in the purple transport. Go. Woo woo woo. Yep. Woo woo woo. You got the wolf there. Woo 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 was early on. Spot on. Love the emote too. Thank you, subs. Salmon. Nice. Salmon's in there. The fish have to be salmon because salmon's the best fish. Harold the Duck. Yeah, baby. You guys remember my Harold stories? That's Harold the Duck. Who's the duck that would harass me anytime I leave my place when I first moved to Florida? <laughs> um, and then there's one more. Someone said, what's with the trees? Okay, so the trees have changed. Is there something that looks like these trees somewhere, guys? Not straggler trees. It's all right. It'll click. It's the T90 tree. When the Forest Nothing meme started on stream, there was a lot of like resubs and donos and people would be T90 tree, T90 tree. It was, it was just, that was the meme. That was the thing at the time. And so that these trees are the trees used in the T90 tree Forest Nothing emote. That's what that's referencing. Good stuff. All right. Let's move along. Also, there was a slow down woo 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 in the audio, obviously, but. Okay. Next round of guesses. We have um, five references here. Okay, you got the obvious one. Yeah, the, the time I built neutral archer ranges. Or Archer Ranges on the Neutral Island, which is there. <laughs> it was also a YouTube video. It was not something that was stream. Now, again, the timeline's a bit off. If you want to know when that happened, that actually happened around the time, like maybe a month or two after Force Nothing. So it actually, it's all fairly similar because right down below it, because people are saying it, is Fat Slob. So you have Fat Slob, and like Fat Slob was also a very early video of mine. And I mean, Fat Slob might not have gained traction if it wasn't for Force Nothing. The three Archer Ranges might not have gained traction if not for that. But this is dedication to Fat Slob. Um, <clears throat> anyone know? So the other obvious one is like the journey through Twitch because I'm just moving along, right? Also, she listed more salmon. So yeah, more salmon because I like salmon. Does anyone know what this is? This one's a bit trickier. I want to see if people can guess this one. Wow, people got it. <laughs> it's Joan the Maid. And it's the 7K people that left when I made the Joan the Maid joke. <laughs> Which I explained earlier, but if you don't know what happened. So, <laughs> I was during Hidden Cup, and I was casting uh, two of the heroes, and one of them was Joan the Maid. And we happen to have Twitch front page. Okay, so it was Joan the Maid versus somebody. Uh, and I was like, so-and-so, I think it was Bad Neighbor. Can someone check Bad Neighbor, Joan the Maid? I don't know. So I'm casting, and like an army gets cleared up. So I was like, so-and-so is mopping the floor with this player. Um, and I think it was like, Joan the Maid is mopping the floor with this player. I think Bad Neighbor or something. And then I was like, well, actually, Maid should be wiping the floor because she's a maid. It was just, that was the joke, okay? I establish and maintain. It's not a bad joke. It was not meant in any way to be disrespect, disrespectful, okay? Joan was a maid, okay? So I made the joke. And a bunch, a couple people laughed, but then right when I made that joke, literally right away, I lost Twitch front page. And we lost 7,000 viewers. So all my chat is like 
minus 7K, minus 7K. Like, oh my God, he offended. He must have offended 7,000 people. And like they instantly left, but it was just the worst possible freaking timing. And of course I'm streaming and I'm like, oh, is that bad? Like, is it that bad? So I was really worried. So that's the minus 7K joke. And now we have the minus 7K emote for that, which has the little viewer thing. By the way, I explained that to my, to my fiance. She didn't like the joke. I don't know what that says about the joke, but I felt like the joke wasn't that unreasonable at the time. She didn't think it was that funny. All right. Anyways, we move on. Okay. Um, no, she's watching right now. She's, she's not a fan. All right. Um, we move on. People have done pretty good so far. This one was impressive to who, to the people that got this very well played. Okay. We have a, quite a few things here. Um, they all kind of flow together. Okay. So we have people saying Koreans. Good guess. Not exactly that. Good guess. So you are correct. This is when I moved to Florida. Now, so that's, that's me fighting the gator. For those that have watched my content, you know the special video where I fought the gator. So that is me fighting the gator, right? Um, okay, Ensberg says Admiral. Yeah, so this is not the Koreans thing. These are heroes, right? So you have Admiral from that hidden cup. You then have, um, I think this is Sanjata. Yeah, I think that's Sanjata. John the Fearless. And then Ivilo. So these were the final four in Hidden Cup 4. The final four heroes looking down on everything, which I think looks really nice. Uh, Ring Nothing is down here. So uh, well played. So this is a Ring Nothing reference, which I did in a 24-hour stream, which was pretty crazy. Um, and then the other one, the... Oh, <laughs> dude, like some of the... I don't know if it's a stretch and, and she came up with it later or if she thought about it. I'm going to give her credit and say she thought about it. But I'm tempted to joke that she just came up with it later. One more thing here, guys. If someone guesses this, I'll give 50 subs right now. One more thing. And no, you can't. To Ugly and hardy, you can't guess. <laughs> yeah, it's talking about the whole journey. That's a hint. The whole journey. Okay, I got to speak because people got really close. <laughs> people were getting close. Okay. Waterfall. Emotional waterfall from Hidden Cup Forward's success. So the waterfall is attached to the cliff and the area in which the Hidden Cup heroes are because I cried. So someone used the word tumultuous, like you're close, but this signifies me crying at Hidden Cup Forward's success. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, so we move on. Um... I don't know this for a fact, but it's not listed. I'm pretty sure. So the first part of this video has me talking, but it's slowed down. I believe that's my fiance from one of the videos we made. She... Doesn't speak much in it, but I believe that's her voice saying something. I think so. It's not her. Okay. That's not, that's not me. Oh, okay. So guys, first off, it wasn't her. Editors confirm it, and my fiance confirms it. So this is awkward. Um, okay, so what just happened there, guys? Some random villager gets converted. What on earth could that have signified? Yes, I got converted. The, the Zuck tempted me with his lizard ways into the trade cart, or I became a trade cart. So yes, they paid me to go to Facebook. That was a hard one. Great guess, guys. Okay, so... Um, there's a lot of other tiny little references in here, though. This is where it gets really fun. So guess away. 
Get, guess away here. Because there's quite a few references. Bad farms, okay. All right. So T90 farms. The Legend of the Liar. Yeah, baby. You got the... I meant to pick Magyars. Can we get some Heymans with the emotes in chat? Also, like, listen, you're already watching a stream of me look at one of my own videos. It feels weird. But if you're ever going to go back and watch anything you haven't watched, Legend of the Liar is good content, dude. That is a good one. Hey, man. Uh, I meant to pick Magyard. So good. So that's what this is referencing. Um, also, the unchopped straggler trees is a reference to my preferences <laughs> i suppose i think chopped straggler trees would be preferred but that the straggler trees was one legend of liar was pre-facebook yeah it it kind of was some of this stuff wasn't it's it's all mixed in um italian strat with siege tower and team games yep this is the band strategy video with the italians and goths so this is referencing that video there The camels, she just put camel noises. That was not unique to Facebook either. I just, when I'm tempted to make a camel noise, I'll make a camel noise. What can I say? All right. Um, <clears> okay, <throat> hey, there's still one that no one guessed here. It's, it's referencing a video which didn't catch on to the same degree. Dark Elf? <gasps> Dark Elf is there. I didn't even know it was on the list. Yes, the legend Dark Elf. The, the player who would always put all his female villagers on farms and then all his male villagers on trees and mining. Dang, I didn't even see that on the list. That's actually a Dark Elf reference. Sick. That guy's still playing, by the way. He's, he's still doing the same SimCity thing. Caravanist or I glitch, glitch. Yes, Crazy Mag. I think you might not have been the first one. So there was a time where the devs made a pat, like, they improved the game with the patch. And there was a bug where the Caravanisserai made the camels faster and like a bunch of other units faster too. And that's why this is here. It's signifying it. You said it five minutes ago, lol. A good thing is I can see your chat history. You only have three messages. And you did say it five minutes ago. Spunk Bob was correct. First messages on the channel too. Sick. Following since two hours ago. Nice. All right. Um, did I miss any? I think that's pretty much it. Okay, we move on. Uh, we've got eight more seconds. You guys have done a really good job so far. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for the pausing. Guess away. Choo choo. Okay. So. It, do you know the specific reference to the choo-choo? Choo-choo is obviously my thing. I do that with ramps. Not me sneezing. I gotta have to show you the video then. From the Aussie meetup. How many people don't know that there was an actual siege ram that attacked me in person when I went to Australia? It's just a minute. It's so sick. It has to be shown. I still haven't made a full video on it. All right, so here's the choo-choo the Chu -chu siege ram reference, all right? So, for perspective, I did not know this was happening. This was at an Aussie meetup. Here's how I accidentally gate crashed T90 this, Sydney meetup. Whoever did this made this video. Dram. Stone, please. T90 is the biggest Age of Empires 2 commentator in the world, and he was coming to Australia. I had to make something for him. I'm gonna need some inspiration. When Mongol siege rams are on the map, he'll often say, Choo choo! Choo choo! There go the rams! That's it! A ram! So I drew up the plans, and we spent two days cutting and gluing IKEA boxes, printing out Age of Empires legends on my black and white printer, and hey, get back to work. Fun, Darton. The main obstacle now was getting it in a car. Dang, so close. The other main obstacle was if we'd be allowed into the fortress, because we thought the event was in a tiny pub, not a huge stadium being streamed online to hundreds of viewers. And then the wildest entrance of our lives happened. He's checking the prices of him. He doesn't have a second town center. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? <laughs> what in the world is walking in towards me right now? It is a drill sea dram. And we've got all your favorite players. We have 
Huang. Viper, we have Dao. Really? I didn't know. Viper's my favorite play. No, I'm kidding. We've got the Australian flag. Oh, you're the Halbs. Well, Mongols don't get Halbs. Come on. Uh, it was close. It's all right. Oh. The moonwalking ram almost got me. I don't know if you'll have anything quite as entertaining as, uh, as Rick's performance there. But... There was way more to the event than just the ram. Like we got to meet T90, get his signature. Have... Nice angle, by the way. Thanks for like the, the, like, the like double chin angle where you're trying to act all subtle. You could have just asked, dude. Get his signature, have drinks with him in the pub after. There was live gaming. But when my kids grow up, I'll be able to tell them how I accidentally gate crashed T90 Sydney meetup in a siege ram. Okay, so that's that's the the choo-choo reference because it's near the tail end of my journey on Facebook. I thought that'd be cool to show, okay? Um, so hopefully you've appreciated that. We gotta get back to it here. Um <laughs> wait, hold on, where exactly are we? We're 58 seconds. Okay. Um, so other people had guessed, but that was so sick though, right? That was so sick. Other people had guessed the Converting Fatoria here. So the Converting Fatoria song, the video where Andy converted my Fatoria is, is this. So good guess there. Um, there's also a reference, where is it? I'm not actually seeing this one. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the AFK player video is referenced here. Are you guys seeing that? I don't know which part of that. Like I remember that cast. Maybe the the bombard towers. The guys on spikes maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I don't see that one. It was maybe the Bomber Towers. Okay. So, listen to this. All right. So, next thing on the list. Contract ending. Next thing here. Facebook on fire. Next thing listed. The trees are dying too. <laughs> Man, we had so much variety with trees in this. And then, the villager walking up to the organ gun. Viper trying to get out too. <laughs> so yeah, that's me talking to Viper. I did I did leave slightly before him. So that was what that was. <laughs> it's just the way it was written here, which is so funny. That was Viper and I chatting. Um all right. We have more. Uh 20 more seconds. The next one, there's a lot, there's a lot of things in the next one. Okay, so uh, let's, let's kind of break it down a little bit, I guess. Because I think that makes more sense what we see on screen. Okay, so let's go off what people are saying. So first off, people are saying the Halbs versus Penguins. I think this might be a reference to the Losing a Villager in a Penguin song. Where I lost a villager to a penguin and MBL did too when we played a tournament together. I'm not seeing... Oh, Penguin song. Yes, that's what that is. And Pointy Boys is just like... Subs, we have the emote. The T90 Boys emote. I know you've got it. All right, show, show people on YouTube what that's referencing. Now it is red, but it's YouTube, so it's like, eh. We got the boys. Yeah, the pointy boys, all right? Um, all right, so Penguin Song. Um, so there's some fun little details here. People said Spirit of the Law. Yes, so this signifies YouTube, and Spirit of the Law is a big fan of Japanese. I'm sure you may know him, makes great content. And so that is him in YouTube land, because this is essentially me at a crossroads. It's this little sign they have in the game. And so I'm getting to decide which platform I went to. And I was teasing YouTube, Kick, or Twitch, right? Um, 
So there's another detail with YouTube. Do you guys have any guesses? It's a little subtle. It'd be hard to guess. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'd like to be clear, people who watch this later on YouTube, this is all a joke. But the the fumes you're seeing there is YouTube smell because years ago, every time I'd end a cast on Twitch and want to be like, hey, if you watch on YouTube, you can watch the stream in the future. Ducks started this thing where he'd say YouTube smells. And then all the chat started to say YouTube smells. And then people in YouTube comments started to see that people said they smell. And then some people would say that Twitch smells. And then some people would take it serious. Some people wouldn't. So that is the smell thing. Um, which is so funny. Like, what a detail to add in there. It's so funny. Um, the other thing about YouTube, which is a little subtle, is it's in reference to I wall, or sorry, I sit and wall and fat slob because it's an extra layer of walls due to that fact. Um, the other thing is that we have purple in the imperial age because it's a well-established streaming platform and we have kick because it's very new and not so established in feudal age which basically you know says what i thought about kick also it does have a lady in a hot tub with a bunch of i mean it's honestly kind of creepy looking at a bunch of dudes staring at the chick in the hot tub which is a little ironic because i did come back to twitch and if you didn't see clips, I was in a hot tub for a minute. But, um, you know, Twitch still kind of has that too, let's be honest. Uh, but that was the kick joke, right? That was the, the joke with kick. It's just, it's the meme. I'm still wondering why there are petards in YouTube. Why, why are there petards? Snippy? Videos blowing up? Ah. King snipes, okay. Or videos blowing up, okay. Cool. All right. Um, oh, these are, you know what these are in the back, guys? The tents are gambling tents. There are, I think, if I could get a better look. Yeah, basically, Kick is backed by a big gambling company, and anytime they pay streamers, they require them to gamble and crap. So that's, that. this is a gambling tent there. <laughs> All right, um, we're close to the end. There's so much detail. Like, we're on list, like, item 50 on the list. So, the group of people here, guesses? The random individuals here. Yeah, so you guys are guessing a lot of names. So, all of these little icons here are in reference to someone who is currently on Twitch. Now, we obviously couldn't do one for everyone, but it was, like, obvious ones. So, for example, Heart is from Peru, and everyone calls him a llama. So that it would be heart. Uh, wolf here would be Ornlu. Is it, there's Ornlu the wolf. Uh, Cataphract would be T. West. As he's, I, I believe at one point he had his icon as Cataphract. He's, he's a Cataphract guy. The Hussar would be Hera. The uh, Yodit would be Doubt, because he was Princess Yodit. Um... <laughs> We should have had a villager fail, like dying next to a castle to signify doubt. Um, <clears throat> and then the uh, Chakram would be Daniela. And then the Petard would be Dave. And then the Demo would be Tato. You thought the king was Mihai? That's a good guess, actually. This is a queen, actually. So the um, funny backstory with Dave. Does anyone remember the copy pasta with Dave? Oh, the outpost is MBL. Missed that. Does anyone remember the copy pasta with Dave from back in the day? My longtime subs. When we would play a team game together. I mean, the petard is because Dave is bald, but mainly because of the old copy pasta, I think. Yeah. So there used to be a bit of a copy pasta. It was T90 is the barrel, Dave is the dude. So if the second Dave got score lead on me, Regardless of how much I did for the team, all right, chat would say T90 is the barrel, Dave is the dude, because the petard is carrying stuff, and it would imply that Dave was carrying me in the team game. That's very old, I think four or five years ago. But that was the petard thing. 
uh, Dave is the Dave is the Dave. T ninety is the barrel. Dave is the dude. That was the thing. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay. Um, and then it says functional and diverse eco for Twitch. Uh, slightly inefficient mining camp because of the fifty fifty revenue split. And then T ninety farm. So um, and yeah, that's it. So in total, it was fifty six references in a 90 second video should have had on gold instead of stone yeah yeah maybe that would have maybe made sense and yeah hopefully we get the 70 30 split back if enough people sub so oh hardy sent me the unblurred audio for this for it's nothing game as you can see it's all trees we're gonna have a lot of time to talk Three archer ranges on a neutral island. What? Normally it's Joan wiping the floor because she is a maid. Good joke. This man's out here rustling gators. It looks like Steve Irwin. Rest in peace. Um, and I parted ways to, to Facebook gaming, which I'm so excited about, and there's so many cool things coming. Wow. Do you think making fun of my farms is fun? There we go. Hey, 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 Red is back. Red is back. Oh, my God, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Viper. Next step for me as a streamer is to leave Facebook. And today was my last stream on Facebook. The announcement of an announcement of an announcement. I think that's it. Dude, I had no clue there were so... I had no clue that the sounds were that timely based on the whole thing because of the way it was... Um, because of the way it was edited. Wow, dude. That I appreciate this so much more now that I've heard that audio. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. <laughs> Someone says we are such a cult. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're new here today, you're probably like, what the crap was that? But um, listen, if you've been around a long time, you, you might appreciate that journey. So that's kind of what it was. Um, so, yeah, um, people wanted the breakdown on it. I, I have to say my salutes go out to people who did the comments. Um, there were even people who were guessing certain things. Where's the top comment? Um, this one here. So I don't know if there's any guesses. Most of these are right. And here's like, like guesses. Uh, Hun Wonder, favorite T90 Wonder. Goose connected to a story with Florida Angry Goose. Turtle ship on shore. Three horsemen on top of a hill. So they didn't get the Hidden Cup reference, I guess. Red halbs around a penguin. Look at the amount of question marks. A mangonel, two petards, and a lot of smoke on YouTube. This person's a YouTube viewer, so they didn't get that they could be stinky. That makes sense. <laughs> but yeah so that was it so people wanted after this for me to break it down and for me to talk about it and that's the breakdown in total there were 56 or 57 references in that and i just have to say thank you to everyone who was really interested in that thank you to everyone who enjoyed that little bit of lore behind it but also massive freaking salutes to my two editors because that was so cool like it made me so happy to see people so involved in it and remember such details. Because when I was on Facebook, I was so concerned and so worried that I'd come back to stream and have all these epic things planned and no one would be here. And, you know, like that, that could have happened. You know, I feel very fortunate to be surrounded with such a community. So thank you. But, you know, to be surrounded by so many um, talented individuals as well who are also such a big part of it's awesome. A lot of you guys don't know this. But my first little like Age of Empires Discord call, just think about this. The first people I ever hopped on the voice with, with, um, ever hopped into to voice with, Age of Empires related. So like nine years ago, okay? I'm going to list names. There was like eight or nine people. I'm going to list some of those names that were in there. MBL, Dave, Hardy. Like, huh? 
Party, full-time editor now, played a big role in everything the last two, two and a half years. Dave, one of my best friends, co-caster. He didn't cast with me until like maybe a year or two later. Um, NBL pro player has been around. Like, that's wild, dude. So like the story to get here is has been awesome. And to be back and have the support today that I did was was fantastic. So thank you guys so much for that. And and thanks for being interested in the, the video here. <laughs> um, so yeah.